Hey everybody, welcome to the POS Podcast. Uh, we're back today with, uh, let's see, who do I have here? Uh, we have Sabersfark. That's me. We have Tommy Oliver. Go to Instagram.com slash PolyStation2. I uploaded a new 3D model today. It's really cool. Everybody loves it, and you should give me money because I'm so good at it. Hooray! It is pretty good. You should go check Thank it out. You. Yeah. All right. And we also have Hirosashi. You to just the black man last. Okay, I see how it is. What? <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Your face. I'm just going by order of like where I have everybody. <laughs> Four hundred trillion to one, and this is how he decides to use his life. Are there really that many? Anyways, no, 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 no. Don't worry. Okay. I'll, I'll say to that later. <laughs> Safe search. Oh. <laughs> Incognito. <laughs> You ever like Google dumb shit and, and you yeah. like, know it's dumb, but you're like, I gotta ask or something. I mean, I had to, I had to go to YouTube to find out how to use a dishwasher because I've never used one before. And I'm like, thank goodness for YouTube, man. So I don't have to ask someone this, and they'd be like, how in the world do you not know how to use a dishwasher? <laughs> I, uh, I had a moment where I was like contemplating about moss because doesn't moss grow on like certain sides of a tree and it like points to that's like, a myth, that's a actually. myth i think yeah, yeah. Who, who, who makes these myths up to get people killed <laughs> like yeah um <laughs> retarded people from hundreds of years ago yeah. <laughs> our ancestors just want to fuck with us <laughs> oh yeah since i've been like super back into paleontology and everything i looked up uh like a bunch of different videos and one well there's one thing about moss and like with the first plants that came onto land were, were like tiny moss that grew everywhere. But the thing is, they grew a bit too much. So they they plunged the earth into an ice age because they, they were too successful. Wow. <laughs> so humans are possibly fucking with the climate. But like, moss is like, dude, back off. Watch this. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny. I ain't got a brain. I just jumped into the chat. And, and the girlfriend said, no spamming, use decent language, and you're just like, fucking, and I'm like, okay. <laughs> We're <laughs> exempt, I guess. Wait, Dude, the funny that? thing, Sabres, for a second, you said humans, I thought you said Cubans. I'm like, what do you have Dude. against Cuba? <laughs> Cuba! <laughs> yeah, yeah. You can but travel I'm... there now. Yeah, yeah, you can. I just I'm don't not understand. How did, how, did, how did the Cubans <laughs> fuck up so bad? I just don't get it. <laughs> Alright, Pamela, what are we talking about in this podcast? All right. Uh, well, before we do, um, uh, Let's you guys just talk have about any... moss. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's All day. Do you guys have anything uh, that you did over the past couple of weeks? Yeah, last podcast. Uh, um, I bought a car and got car yo, on ice. Did you? So you can actually travel now. Yeah. Like... Well, I'm gonna live in that car, so that's uh, that's I'm gonna be a nomad for a while and just travel uh -huh. and go places. Nice. So today, yeah, it's pretty weird. That I'm gonna do that, but yeah, that's the plan. I just bought like a fucking like solar battery thing today that's coming in in a few days, so I can like have power in the car. It's gonna be, it's gonna be, it's gonna be, it's gonna be crazy. It's gonna be that's crazy. quite the adventure, dude. Good luck. Yeah, it's gonna be pretty nuts. Yeah, you hero. Um, <laughs> uh, I got the king of the hard project. Um, it's yeah, it's a kingdom hard. Art project? A hard project, like at work. <laughs> Kingdom oh, hard. Um, I, I got a raise. Woo. Another? Right. God, um, stop wagging ah! your privilege in front of me. <laughs> <laughs> fucking. That's why I laughed. I was like, am I going to say it? Like, it yeah. <laughs> we, we have to roast you. We have to. You have to you gotta... <laughs> Wow, 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 look at that. Look at that DJ table in the background. It's a part of your, your salary bonus. My, my, my plan at this Say point it. is to just keep giving Hero so much shit that eventually just like, I will just pay you to stop. And I'll be like, my plan has worked. <laughs> You're like, I bought a car to live out of. I, so um, wait, wait, you would just make fun of him for being so successful? Yeah, he's, he's just, just like, please, just I'll just give you like a thousand dollars to just stop. I'm like, yes. And the next podcast here, Sasha's so gonna dress up like the Monopoly man. With a <laughs> yeah, I, I literally, that's why I laughed. I was like, I don't know, man. I, maybe I should just not say it. But I was like, wait, what else happened? That was the big thing that happened. Uh, oh, I went on a date. That was cool. Another one, oh, yeah. anyway. Yeah. With the oh, same God. girl. 
Yikes. What the? Right? What the? Yeah. Oh, wait, wait. This is so weird. This is blowing my mind right now. This is like such common, like everyday normal things. But the fact that we're all been fucking weirdos for the last like six years, it's like, yeah, I got another raise at work and went on a date with a woman. It's like. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not friends with people who do that. What is going on? You know, it's uh, interesting. Speaking of shit, um, you're not going to talk about shit, are you? As the Monopoly Man, the Monopoly <laughs> Man never had a monocle. What? That's true. He didn't. When you think of the Monopoly Man, you're like, oh, it's his monocle and it's, it's like, no, no. He oh, never yeah, had a that's right. The logo doesn't have a monocle. Yeah, yeah I, I think people also one. think of what the the Planter's Peanut. Because the planter's peanut also has a top hat, but he has a monocle. Yeah, the, the planter's peanut yeah has a monocle. Yeah. He's a fancy motherfucker. But the monopoly. <laughs> but man, the monopoly man's not a fancy guy at all. Yeah, he's, he's, he's not. He's not about that extraneous expenditures. He has properties to buy up. Yeah, he's got to buy up everything. Yeah. How do we encourage that shit? It's called monopoly. It makes us buy the country. <laughs> you buy it. <laughs> if, you, if you had a whole bunch of money, would you would you buy a fancy house or would you just not? No, absolutely not. I would, I would, I no. like, I have simple shit. Mm -hmm. Like, like nice. there's, there's, there's a good quote. Like the, the, the quickest way to not own the Porsche company is to buy a Porsche. <laughs> Wonderful. Like you keep spending money on superfluous bullshit. You'll never be able to like make big moves and like be more successful because mm -hmm. you're squandering all your resources on empty shit. And even if I had like a hundred million dollars, I'd be like, I'd rather like. I don't know, travel and do stuff like that. You yeah. have like a nice little house, but that I, I don't want a mansion. Fuck that. I, I, you too? Okay, no. That's the only one with a house. I, gotta, I feel Hero can yeah. give us some insight here. I, I don't know, because like, <laughs> my, my parents have like a kind of a large house, and like whenever my friends come over, they always, always without fail, like mention, like, oh, your house is kind of big. And it's cool when you travel to the house and you get to be there for a second. When you live there, though, you got to clean the big house all the time. And yeah. oh, I'm Not so about glad that. I moved out. I'm so glad I moved out. Check. It's awful. Like, living in, living, living in a big house is so ridiculously, incredibly overrated, I promise. Dude, my house is going to be so small, you don't even know. <laughs> Sounded like sugar sprinkles. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Uh, anyway, Saber, will you do anything? Um, I know that you're coming to town tomorrow. We're gonna hang yeah. out. Yeah, yeah. I'm I'm leaving tomorrow. So like after this and after we do the let's watch thing for for your channel, I'm gonna like <laughs> render this podcast up quickly so that way it can leave tomorrow. So, and by the way, the POS Podcast, if you didn't hear last episode, uh, the POS Podcast is going to be on its own channel now, rather than on my, my Paleo Steno channel. Holy so. shit. We're growing Breaking up. We're move. becoming big boys. We're becoming men! I can't wait for it to take like 10 years for us to have monetization, because they're going to fucking <laughs> fuck us over. Did you guys ever have a subreddit called Tendies? Tendies. What, like chicken tendies? Yeah, I, I realized there's an acronym called Good Boy Points, and it's really weird because it's like, I guess about a little, about like wow, well, Tom's guess. look. <laughs> right. All right, all right, all right. You guys don't get any Good Boy Points. Oh, I'll live, I guess. <laughs> Paleo, what are you gonna do? We're not gonna get super chats anymore. Hmm? What are you gonna do with all that money you're? Oh embezzling? no, it's go still gonna be live streamed here. It's just that oh, all the all the. Okay. Uh, Recorded oh, okay. episodes are going to you be can on the top. Still skim off the top. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So sorry for confusing uh, everybody. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, it's, okay. it's still live streamed here, which I did mention in the last one too. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Well, I wasn't here last time. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I was busy. I was busy trying to get car insurance. <laughs> which in the Geico? Oh, I don't even get me started on Geico. They fucked me pretty bad. Well, that's like... <laughs> yeah. Fifteen minutes, more like I'm fifteen days and counting. I still don't have them. <laughs> <laughs> not even a not even a joke. All right, let's. Uh, I guess we'll go on to me. the first topic. Um, and if you want to ask us questions, you can ask us on Twitter. Our Twitter handles, uh, which I I just uh, did not show. Oh, wait, our Twitter <laughs> handles are there, and you can ask us on Twitter, or you can use super chats. So let's go to the first topic, which is a movie. And uh, it's a movie that I was excited for, uh, Jurassic Park or Jurassic World: Fallen Kingdom, which is the fifth Jurassic Park movie. Lame. 
the second is that like is that is that subtitle like a uh, a subtle jab at the the state of the franchise in general <laughs> <laughs> no because it's already made like over a billion dollars so. uh, well <laughs> china can't no accounting for china's taste i suppose <laughs> which is what the big explosions <laughs> i i uh i actually think it's really interesting how the Chinese market, like, God bless them, they're, they're, they're changing the landscape of entertainment, and and it's kind of a bit... More a bit... schlock. More schlock. More right, schlock. Yeah, that's, that's, I, I'm a bit perplexed of, like, because, you know, human culture, you know, like those big fat Americans are like, uh, you know, we, we also love that shit. But, like, I don't know. Like, uh, David, if you're not a fan of the Jurassic Park movies, you're banned. You know. no, the, um, something that's interesting to me, though, is that, like, they don't really... Are, they don't. They don't seem to really dig story-driven shit. Like they like Transformers, Independence Day, Pacific Rim Two, and, and shit like that. And but they don't like. They don't want Star Wars. Like it's, it's just. I'm like, why? What's going on here? What's what's what 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 do you Star all like? Wars is shit. Well, I mean, I don't like care for the new ones, but still, I just find it so fast. They knew. Yeah. They saw the reviews from America. They were like, "What do you mean they killed off Han Solo?" What do you mean Luke Skywalker is dumb? What do you mean they burned all the books? This sounds like shit. I'm going to watch some weird bullshit movie. Where's Transformers 2? Let's watch that instead. <laughs> Let's bust out the Transformers 2 DVD that's totally legitimate. We didn't buy a downtown Shenzhen that's printed on like a DVD-R. Let's watch that again. <laughs> Fuck Star Wars. Yeah. Um... But Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom, I've I've liked pretty much all the Jurassic Park franchise, so I'm very biased. Because um, uh, I just like to see dinosaurs eating people, I guess. Which, uh, thankfully, it does show dinosaurs, unlike some other movies that don't really show what they, what you came to get. So, yeah. Why are you opening the wound again, Paleo? Yeah, I know. <laughs> Why? <laughs> it's been four years. I'm trying to get over it. You're trying to get over what, Godzilla 2014? Yeah... It, there should be a trailer coming out later this year for Godzilla. Oh 2019. yeah, I don't even care. I don't trust America. They fucked I, up. I they fucked up too many times. I don't trust America. <laughs> look, look. They have. It's it's like it's like baseball. Strike one was Hanna Barbera's Godzilla cartoon. Strike two was fucking Godzilla '98. And then I, I naively was like, oh, this will be fine. Godzilla 2014. They're gonna hit that grand slam with the bases loaded. But no, they totally fucked it up. America struck out. They're the worst. What about the Godzilla on Netflix? That's not American. Well, <laughs> that's why it doesn't suck. That's Delta. That's that's fuck you. That's written by the <laughs> fucking rich motherfucker with his choice of airlines. <laughs> one get fucked. You mean not Spirit Airlines? <laughs> that was like, dude. That, that that movie was written. That was the script for that was by uh, Robo Chigan, the guy who did Madoka and shit. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's like the most un American thing you can get. It was Attack on Godzilla. It was just like Attack on Titan, but with Godzilla. There was a guy who was really angry. He's like, Godzilla killed my mom. I'm going to kill that motherfucker. Does he turn back into another Godzilla himself? I'm hoping that happens in the next movie. That'd be pretty sick. I mean, I mean it's going to be Mecha Godzilla. So, what is Mecha Godzilla but humans becoming a monster? That's true. That's true. So, yeah. Did you, did you see Pacific Rim 2? I no. You're not missing anything. I didn't think so. I'm still waiting for the animated series that I'm assuming has been canceled. <laughs> <laughs> All oh, right. Uh, so, the dino- dinosaur. so yeah. Um, uh, since like I'm super biased because I I, I love Jurassic Park stuff. Um, I I, w- I want to hear what Saber has to say because he also what? saw it. What? Oh, okay. <laughs> um, I guess. <laughs> um, so. <sighs> I liked it, um, and, and I went in there knowing it's gonna be dumb. And I think yeah, yeah, I it's, it's that, definitely dumb. Like, I'm not denying that at all. Yeah, yeah I, I'm not like shitting on it. Just that I'm like, yeah, it's just kind of dumb. It's gonna be dumb, and it was. And there, there are some things I liked where I'm like, oh, this character developed a little bit differently. Good on them. But like, all I went in there is to see dinosaurs fuck shit up. That's all I cared about, and I, and I got that. It slowed down a little bit at the end, but. I got my fill, and I'm like, okay, yeah, I'm, I'm all right. I'm all right. I wouldn't pay to go see it again, probably. Or maybe, I don't know. I might go see it with you since you're visiting. Yeah. But, yeah, I don't know. We'll we'll see. I, I, I felt there's a lot more dinosaurs, like a, new, a lot more variety this time. 
Yeah, uh, they they did have a lot of new stuff. Like um in in the 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 thumbnail for the podcast, there's like the Carnotaurus, which uh they had been like teasing that since like Lost Worlds. The Carnotaur, so, like, is that is that a is that bigger than the T Rex or no? No, no, it's not at all. Is that an archosaur, whatever the fuck you called it? Yeah, like all dinosaurs <laughs> are archosaurs. What the fuck? He's making. Yeah. I swear he's. Just... No, uh, I don't, yeah, archosaurs I don't... include pterosaurs, dinosaurs, and like crocodilians. Literally, just saying whatever the shit is. <laughs> dinosaurs. The, you just uh, that the, up. the squares of of the 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 king the, the animal kingdom. They're mm-hmm. all all squares are rectangles, <laughs> but not all rectangles are squares. All dinosaurs are archosaurs, but no archosaurs are real because you're making this shit up. No, it's real. It's I don't real. fucking believe you. I, I found know, out man. about a, a dinosaur I didn't know about uh, the other day, and it's so fucking cool. It's called a you yeet. You know what? Like, There's why a bunch I... Of dinosaurs it's called, you call it about. yeet? No, yeet. A yeet? Like, like, like why yeet. I... Yeet. Well, technically, you like yee key, but like, why I QI? Because it was found in China. Um, I'm not sure exactly how you're supposed to pronounce that. But uh, it has this, <laughs> it has like this extra like bone uh, on its arm, and it has like actual membranes like a bat, so it looks like a fucking dragon. You're making this shit up. Dinosaurs weren't even real. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, I was gonna say the closest thing I saw to Jurassic World was uh, a clip from the Joe Rogan podcast where this guy who was a paleontologist, like spent thirty minutes like ripping apart this guy who was saying that dinosaurs weren't real. <laughs> on, on YouTube, and it was hilarious. He just got super fucking pissed. He's like a big fat guy. He's just like fucking piece of shit. You're so fucking dumb. I hate this guy. He's hundred percent bullshit. <laughs> this went on for like a half an hour, and it's like, ha ha, funny man. Wow. Well, <laughs> probably better. Probably better than Jurassic World. Looking up Arkansas. Uh, you know, you're, I'm in the smart person p- part of Wikipedia when, like, the fourth word, I don't even understand what it is. <laughs> Archosaurs are a group of diapsid hymenotes. Diapsids. Who, I don't Shut fucking up. care. <laughs> Whose living representatives consist of birds and crocodilians. This group also includes all extinct non avian dinosaurs, extinct crocodilian relatives, and paleo is gay huh <laughs> Wait, did, you say, did you say non did you say non avian dinosaurs yeah because technically birds are so then the so technically then birds are avian dinosaurs, dinosaurs? Te- technically birds are dinosaurs so that's why what like and i go outside and see a cardinal that's a dinosaur technically Wait, wait. So you're saying that that dinosaurs are the squares of archosaurs and birds stop! are the squares no, of stop, dinosaurs? Stop. That's bullshit. There's too many levels. Science is confusing, and I hate yeah, it. Yeah, and cladistics I've never are very heard... confusing too. So these stupid little birds that like suicide bomb into my car are dinosaurs? Yes. I don't believe I. You're right, telling so... me that we have a restaurant that's so the question the is... is to serve dinosaurs. Oh, <laughs> oh! I asked this question on Twitter. Do you think dinosaur meat would taste more like chicken or turkey? What the fuck? I don't. How would any? Okay. <laughs> Eat I, I feel like the most important question to ask is: Can crows open doors? <laughs> well, crows are pretty smart. Really smart. <laughs> that's that's my point. They're yeah. they're the they're the they're the raptors of today. You know what the smart part of YouTube or YouTube? There's no smart part of YouTube. You know what the smart part of my career? Um, <laughs> it's when you look up. You're trying to do some math homework, and you try to look up a formula that you like. You didn't get written down before the teacher erased the board, and you look at the formula, and there's like eight thousand more calculus in it than like you remember, and you're just like, "What in the world?" That's when you get that app that you just hold up to a math problem, and it solves it for you. Did Tom you. die? No, no I didn't. I'm right here. Oh, I can't hear. What the? Oh, fuck. Weird. Oh no, he's dead. Oh, I was gonna say the only smart part of YouTube is the log out button. <laughs> well, when's the last time I've logged off, logged off of YouTube, it's, or any site point. for that matter? None of us are smart. <laughs> well, anyway, yeah, Jurassic World: Fallen Kingdom. I mean, I enjoyed it because I'm a stupid like Jurassic. Park it sounds guy. like it's a Godzilla movie, just dumb, boring talking in between monsters fighting each other. Except, yeah, I mean they I mean, are monsters. It's not what yeah, the yeah, they're they're genetically with, like... engineered monsters. They're not yeah, like yeah. accurate representations of dinosaurs at all. So. so when, so like, I mean, it's not even about dinosaurs anymore. It's just about these, our fictional kind of like 
antiquated concept of dinosaurs that captured our imagination and yeah. slowly turning it into just not even real things at all anymore. Okay. Yeah, I have no idea what it sounds like, but there you go. And now the it's Indominus back. Rex. It's there, that there. sounds like a scientist came up with that name for sure. <laughs> Not I was hoping they named it like the Verizon Wireless Rex or something. Yeah, it's the Verizon Wireless Presents <laughs> Indominus Rex. Oh, oh, in oh my god. Yeah. They put a wireless hotspot in his tail. <laughs> so he can get service wherever you are. If you yeah. suddenly have five bars, you know he's close. <laughs> Run! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Alright, anyway. Um, oh was... man, they did that. No, they did that in Jurassic Park three, didn't they? they have like a cell phone going off because he ate it. Oh, the Spinosaurus yeah, the Spinosaurus. Did. Yeah, yeah, they did. Dude, that would totally be product placement. Like it was just like the the generic ringtone. It definitely would have been like the Verizon ringtone if it was done yeah, today. Yeah. God, All modern right. America disgusts me. Anyway, what else do we have to talk about? <laughs> yeah. All right, we only have a few topics before we get to Q and A because there there wasn't okay. really a lot a lot of news to talk about. Um, first thing is something pretty big, though. Um, apparently, Disney is shutting down the Disney Toon Studios, which um, made uh, a bunch of, like, uh, Disney sequels, also, like, the Disney fairy movies, uh, a Goofy movie. They made that one. Um, huh. And I, if, I, I, if I'm correct, they also did Lion King 2. Woo. So, like, did they cite a reason right here, so. as to why they did this? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'd imagine that they did not. I, I'd imagine that they're well. I mean, but the the writing's on the wall. It probably isn't making them much money. They're like, yeah, we'll get rid of it. Yeah. Maybe if they gave them something to do, yeah, to animate. If they gave them like, something to do, like make, let's make, make more... a live action Dumbo movie and a live action Mulan movie, where we totally rewrite the plot and it's not Mulan anymore. Yeah. Well, why something... didn't they have like Disney Two Studios? Because they they were still doing some like 2d animation for a while mm. so and the the fairy movies i watched those those are the the movies based on tinkerbell and everything um and they're not bad uh they're 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 pretty average but they're they're not bad at all um so i i'm wondering like if they just didn't have the resources to keep it open but when i think about it it's like no disney definitely has the resources to keep it open so they don't give a fuck yeah. they're too busy yeah, if, if they didn't have the resources who does have the resources the, yeah. disney's just like we're just the the marvel and star wars company now hmm. we just can't afford and live that. action remix of yeah. a better time it's all it's and, all that <laughs> it's all the money they spent on advertising for solo that's where all the money went we're broke. <laughs> i feel like no one talked about them oh movie. no i don't know saber died why is everyone dying? This is the dying right. podcast. I, I'm back. Sorry about that. That was weird. You're weird. Reincarnation. You all hear me, right? Yeah. Yes. I'm, a, I'm a third second. He rose again. <laughs> Brilliant. Uh, yeah. So, did they get? Did they cite a reason why, or they're just like it's gone? Um. I think he said so. Yeah. I just I just saw the, the article about it, it's shutting down. Um. Let me right. see what exactly or sh why they were shutting down. Because uh, we don't see any future in two. They were either. going to be working on a, uh, mm -hmm. a uh, another car spinoff, which they also did. Those they did like the plane series. Oh, well, I have less. I have less. Uh, <laughs> less respect for them now. Yeah, um, and they were, they were going to do a, a spinoff yeah. of something that like had to do with space. That was going to be part of the planes thing. Spaceships. Oh. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> space horse. Cars and planes, and then we can have space. Cool. Sick. Yeah, it says, uh, however, with the advent of streaming and Disney's introduction of its own streaming part service, pr profits on the, di the direct-to-video market are starting to wane, which may have an impact on Disney's decision to, sh to shut them down. That makes why sense. Did, yeah, because, like, di direct-to-video just... stuff. Hmm. Yeah. Okay, but why not just have them do Ma Yeah, they could have them make stuff for the streaming service they're doing. Oh, huh, I don't know. That's interesting. Because I know, like, any anytime there's a new, like, big thing on Netflix, people talk about it. So, they could have had the same thing for their streaming service. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I, don't know. I don't fucking, fuck it. Disney, Disney, I don't understand them. They do weird shit. Yeah. Alright. Remember 2D animation? That was pretty cool. 
I do. I remember it. I it's loved so it to death. I liked it. We just had a yeah. friend who did an entire animation for the most part on ones, and it took them a long time. So I can yeah. see yeah. why they don't do it anymore. That's why you gotta do things on threes, like the Japanese. Dude. Like the Japanese. You gotta have that dude, sick yeah. eight FPS. <laughs> <laughs> and just panning oh. shots in the middle right. of talking. <laughs> and just have frozen people, just frozen, because they're not the ones doing the action at the time. And then just like nut everything in like one 20 second action sequence in like one episode. <laughs> just be like, that's where we put all our time, right? It's so funny when you watch an anime and, you're, and it's just like you can point it out and be like, that's the budget. That's yeah. the budget. <laughs> like, you see an explosion, you're like, oh boy, yeah, that's the budget. Damn, man. <laughs> like, yeah. Freaking that episode of Panty and Stocking with Scanty in these socks, the first episode. You're like, that's this show's entire budget. Like, all of it. It's yeah. Like, oh my goodness. That episode's so good. All right. But uh, remember, there's there's no market at all for 2D animation. It just doesn't exist anymore. Doesn't exist. Man. Doesn't exist. I guess when people get tired of CG, it might come back. I don't know, it's, I, I guess 3D animation, because 3D animation and the little itty bitty that I dabbed in it, it does seem like it, yeah, it'd be easier to do. Just move some bones, right? Once you have it's, it all wake up. It's like, it's, I, I, I want to do a video on this at some point of like why 3D overtook 2D. It's not even that it's easier, it's just that the workflow is. Saber, that's a video idea you can steal. Designed. Oh, mine! <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we could do a collab. Uh, it's just as it's designed it's designed to better facilitate like a long format project you know because like it takes mm -hmm. like there's like the like parabola of like workflow mm. i have it is better suited for long a, format projects i have a point for that because when you said like it's better for workflow and, and everything um zootopia they scrapped the entire film it was almost like pretty much almost done and they're like well let's make this story completely different now and you know they still had the models and everything, so they're like, "Well, okay, now right. now we're gonna animate it this way." So yeah, like a good example of it is like, cause like I, the thing, I, the way I want to explain it in the video I was gonna do, I was gonna have like a model of a stick figure and a drawing of a stick figure, and like draw the stick figure in like two seconds, and the model would take like an hour, and you'd speed yeah. that up. It's like okay, but now I want to draw the stick figure again, and like you draw it in ten seconds, but then like you move the bone like once, it takes like half a second to do in the three D models. Like now you do this like ten million times, like. It's more upfront work, but like in a long format, the longer the project is, the more time you save in 3D. Mm -hmm. Right. And that's why it's it's just more efficient over the long term. And that's why like mm -hmm. 2D is used for like 15 minute television shows and stuff now, because like it's shorter, so it's not as big of a loss. But on features, like you're saving so much time and it's so much easier to make changes if you need to do things differently. But is uh is 3D animation really just like moving bones, like for yeah. the entire movie? It's like playing with an action figure in your. Computer. So it's actually like just stop motion on your computer, I guess. Uh, pretty much. That's yeah. Okay. Yeah. Like the last thing I want to do when I go home would be play with an action figure. I'd be like, boy, I played with a digital version of you all day. I had to go all day tomorrow. <laughs> I don't want to play with action figures. <laughs> Hate Transformers. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Um. Next thing, let's, speaking of Disney, let's talk about this weird series that was revealed overseas, and then we're like, oh, this is going to be a, a series, I guess? Um, yeah. Three Caballeros. Yeah, right? Where'd that come from? Yeah. Like, the, the, the movie from the 50s? Yeah. The 40s. For, it was 40s? Was yeah. it 40s? Okay. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, the Three Caballeros. Apparently, there, there's going to be a, a series about them. A series of what? Um... Maybe. Like a streaming series or a TV I series? I don't what? know. Like, cause it 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 showed up on a on like some Disney app overseas. I can't remember which country. Oh. It was like the Philippines, maybe. Did that um, owl show come out yet? I was no, no, oh, that, that, was... That, that might come out in twenty twenty. Actually, are you fucking joking? Yeah. Why do we have to wait so long for something that looks good? <laughs> because it looks good. <laughs> The, um, um, something, something comes, so uh, Big City Greens came out a few weeks ago. I, I watched that. It's pretty cute. And then, um, that's on Disney Channel. And then there's another show that's coming out on Cartoon Network, I believe, called um, Summer Camp Island. 
Yeah. And that that one visually isn't I'm not really jamming with it too much. It's okay, but the story's pretty cute. You, you can see that definitely that there's a an adventure time flair to it. Since mm-hmm. the folks who are in charge worked as writers on Adventure Time, so that's kinda cool. Yeah. But uh yeah, it's called the the Legend of Three Caballeros. Um like I'm not sure if it's airing like on, on Disney Channel or uh oh yeah, somebody said uh, the number a number of episodes are um just on YouTube right now. It's so. the legend because we don't know if it actually exists. The legend of the hidden Caballeros. Because I saw the opening for it, I was like, mm-hmm. Oh, this looks like like pretty fun from what i've seen of it so it is a ride at disney world actually what? it's pretty great there's a ride at disney world actually where it's um one of my favorite parts of disney is are, are the obscure ride um rides that have less than five minute wait time um yeah and there's one of those for the three caballeros uh cap caballeros or caballeros, caballeros? whatever all right so it, it's in the uh, and it's in Epcot in the Mexico section. And it's just like you're in a little water like craft just going down a river and just little pictures of Mexico and video video clips of like Donald being like, I want to get with the ladies. And the rooster <laughs> and the parrot being like, we are party animals. And that's it. It's, it's just very low ma- it's, it's very low maintenance compared to like fucking, I don't know, Spaceship Earth or whatever, or uh, uh, Mission Mars, whatever. Uh, really quick, but gotta gotta correct myself. Uh, it was on June fifteenth. This came out, so it was after I saw that it was coming out in twenty twenty. Uh, the creator of this show said, "Thank you." However, the Owl House is still set to com- to premiere in twenty nineteen. Okay. Um, can't That's... promise that that will stay because I don't have control over the scheduling department. But the article that said it was twenty twenty was mistaken. Is this However, coming out on Disney? Yeah, uh, Disney. No. Disney XD. Is it Disney XD or is it Disney? Are they moving everything to Disney now? To Disney, yeah, maybe. Yeah. God, we're gonna give the people who release Gravity Falls control over this. It says Dis- it says Disney Channel. There you go. Okay. Remember when shows just came out once a week? Yeah, yeah right. <laughs> yeah. That was fucking sick. All right. Um, <laughs> next thing, which is really weird news. Um, Apparently, Jim Carrey is going to play Dr. Robotnik in that weird Sonic the Hedgehog movie. Yeah. This is this is this is great. <laughs> you, you know, and after after seeing uh, like recent images of Jim Carrey with with his like beard and everything, I was like, you know what? I can see it. <laughs> mm-hmm. It's just going it to be really like weird. So- is it going to look like Sonic 06 Robotnik? Because that's really the dream. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I have I have no hopes for this at all. It's going to be <laughs> yeah. so weird. <laughs> like my my expectations could not possibly be lower. It's like <laughs> like all the lessons we've slowly learned about animated features. This movie sounds like it's perfectly breaking all of them. <laughs> I feel like the guy who's responsible for this had like a really bad interaction with the Sonic fandom. Like he saw Sonic with a dick at one point. He's like, I need to kill all these people. Uh, I need yes, to join the ninety nine percent. The death blow. We need, I need to wipe these people off the face of the planet. He's gonna create like the worst thing ever <laughs> just to fucking <laughs> drop that fucking nuclear bomb on this <laughs> pathetic lingering fandom and destroy it for all time. Nothing about this sounds good. Everything is pain. It makes me Everything sad to own a Sega. Pain. Sad. Someone's going to call me on the phone. What? Someone's going to call me on the phone. I can't turn it off. Oh, no. <laughs> They're calling me through an app, so there's no ignore buttons. I... That was right. weird. So what okay. do you do when you're in like a courtroom and it starts ringing? Uh, well, now I realize I just keep it on silent all the time. This is a learning experience. <laughs> oh, wait, Tom, did you, you told Saber to get a Google Pixel, didn't you? I did. Yeah. I like it. Did something happen? No. No, any <laughs> anytime he's like on the phone when when he's like driving back from Laura's. Oh like yeah. it it's so awful. This is for the Discord app. Um whenever I, I go into speaker mode on the Discord app for some reason it echoes really badly. Yeah, it echoes I, I really know. badly. I don't know why. I, I don't know what the deal is. Yeah. Go fucking figure. Anyway, um, ain't, ain't the end of the world though. Yes, it is. 
Next up, let's talk about a new cartoon coming out called um, Elliot from Earth. And this is actually from the same people that did Gumball. Really? Yeah. Um, That's a good sign right off the bat. Yeah, I believe it's going to be premiere on Cartoon Network. Um, I I don't know if it's later this year. Yeah, I think it's later this year. Um, But it's about a boy and a dinosaur, and they're on a spaceship with a bunch of aliens from the universe. It's What the fuck? Yeah, it sounds weird, but I'm interested. I mean, there's dinosaurs in it, so of course you're interested. Yeah. That barely looks like a dinosaur. I know, it looks really... (laughs) Wait, and there's pictures? I need to see this. That's that's a circle and five other shapes. Oh, God, is this like one of those badly drawn shows? This is going to make me mad when I look at it. (laughs) Can we please just have good art? I don't like how the dinosaur has lips, though. That's weird. The Ooh. dinosaur's eyes are on top of its head, question mark? So it's like a don't... Yoshi? Yes, don't... it is like Yoshi. <laughs> What's going on here? This is weird looking. But... Oh, oh, those are glasses. What the? Oh, <laughs> oh they are glasses. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my I mean, goodness. I mean, it's we... floating on nothing. Everything oh, about this aesthetic I hate. <laughs> nothing is good. I mean, there's some nice colors going on on that right side. Those blues into the orange. Oh, it's blue and orange. Yeah. <laughs> it's blue orange. <laughs> yeah, his his the dinosaur's facial expression is my feelings about looking at this art. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. God, can we though just since, not? Though since I'm it is so from t- the gumball people, I'm I'm ex- I'm in, in, interested in what it's gonna like. Uh, be like as far as the writing. It'll goes. probably be written well, but yeah. man, man, I'm so done. I'm so I, I feel like every episode I have to rant about how I'm so done with this aesthetic, but I'm so done with this aesthetic. <laughs> with, with the it's beat, not getting the any mouse. easier. I just everything about it. It's just like please try and like draw. That bean mouth, holy shit! Like, remember how? Like, no, of course you don't remember. None of you suffered through this in in high school, and they're like, "You're gonna learn how to draw other things besides anime. You're never gonna fucking do anything that way." This is the new anime, all right? <laughs> it's the exact same thing every time, and I feel like these are these are they all need to sit down in high school and have an art teacher yell at them. <laughs> Dude, bean mouth. Bean mouth drawing bean mouth while watching Cars too. <laughs> hey, Why? this guy's drawing beads over here. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um. So yeah, that's pretty much it for stuff. Uh, there wasn't oh, a lot wow. to talk about, so I guess we can go straight into Q and A. Uh, if you want, what ask... a topic to end on. Yeah, if you want to ask <laughs> anything, our um handles right here. If you want to uh, tell us anything about stuff that we might have missed. Um, there, Ryan Walterson, not... I'm not cynical. I'm just, I just want, I, I, I'm optimistic. I have so much hope <laughs> for the medium of drawing. I want there to be more things. I want things to be better. I, I strive for a better world. It's not. You ain't, you ain't getting it. I know, but, but that's wow. why, the reason. <laughs> the re- that then, then your name is Sin E. Cal, buddy, because the reason I make a big deal out of it is because I believe in the power of the human spirit to conquer Sin- this boredom, <laughs> this aesthetic blandness, this this awful artistic rut that the Western market is in. We have the power to overcome this. We need the fucking owl show to come in and show us the way forward. God damn it. 2019, save us! Infinity what? Call sounds like a Guilty Gear character. Oh, name. yeah, and Infinity it Train does. comes out next year, too. <laughs> oh, please, yeah. Infinity Train. Do, do the work. Is that the sequel to Infinity War? <laughs> <laughs> Thanos is, is like in the front of the train. <laughs> you got rid of it's just, just, the it's just like What did it cost you? Everything. <laughs> Yeah, he's just like sitting in like the caboose. He's just like everything. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's see um, what we have here on Twitter. Do do do. Do we have any questions? Ask oh. us things. Let's see. Oh, let's see from Jason. 
Thoughts on the Nickelodeon premiering uh, Pink and, Pinky and Malinky on Netflix rather than TV, and Vi Viacom is also rebo rebooting Dar Daria. What? The uh, rebooting Daria? Uh, uh, yeah. That's the first part of that, yeah. Yeah, and Pinky and Malinky, I, I remember what looking at that um, what is Pinky when I was looking Malinky? up the new cartoons that were coming out. Is that a Pinkie Pie spinoff? No, nah, it's, it's spelled with a Y, not an I. Oh. I don't know why I even mentioned that. Don't yeah, that's cares. another show. That's, uh... <laughs> oh, yeah, it was originally going to come out on Nickelodeon, I think, but now it's it looks, on yeah, It looks like absolute 100 quadrillion percent not my thing. I gotta be honest. It's aesthetic. It's, 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 the, it's the aesthetic, yeah. I don't know. I like this. Nick, how was I saying Nintendo? Nickelodeon really likes this, like, really big mouth kind of thing i don't know dude he has the same lips as the dinosaur he does <laughs> bean, bean mouse the bean mouse it's the bean mouse that is a really extra lightning bolt though like oh where 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 what 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 kind of people are going to cal Kids. arts where they decided that uh -oh. like teeth are like little <laughs> nubs nubs like that's <laughs> i don't I worry about these people. I really do. <laughs> oh, uh, we got a super chat here from Ryan Walterson. Uh, favorite dinosaur characters? Hard mode, no Jurassic Park, or Land Before Time? I, I, I Favorite I like... dinosaur character? I feel like I had an answer for this. Now I, like, I like... The character's name, I can't remember. Is it really Arlo? Arlo, yeah, Arlo. Yeah, the dinosaur. I was just like, yeah. am I thinking of the, the YouTube guy? Oh, or... dude, I, yeah, I, no, I, I, I love the T-Rexes the in that uh, in that movie. They're great. Especially, like, the Sam Elliott one. Oh, oh, wait, 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 wait. Okay, so, wait, can the pterodactyl moment be Yeah, the yeah, yeah, fine. Okay, yeah. him, because he says the freaking... Yeah, like, the storm provides. Blizzard quote. Okay, so, like, I, t I talk to, like, Saber and Paleo about this all the time. A stupid character in um, the Good Dinosaur, like that pterodactyl guy. He said he just like at some point says the storm provides, and like I swear yeah. that sounds like like a quote that a World of Warcraft boss would say, like before <laughs> yeah. casting a spell. And it's just so cool to me. Like the storm provides is so fucking cool. It provides water. <laughs> I don't know yeah. what it means, but it sounds cool. So. <laughs> it sounds vaguely deep. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. Um, yeah. So people in the chat uh, were talking about like the Sinclairs from the show Dinosaurs. Uh, they you know, I was thinking. Yeah. Sinclair. Yeah. That tr that Triceratops thing fucking scared the hell out of me. <laughs> Sinclair. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. His boss. <laughs> that, was, that that show was great. I love it. Mm. Um. Uh, somebody said from uh, the characters from We're Back, a dinosaur story. Oh oh, back to talk to the dinosaur when the earth was um, Also, Yoshi is technically a dinosaur, so. Uh, but Yoshi, old Yoshi. There yeah, you old go. old Yoshi. Not this new new super round Sled. Yoshi. <laughs> yeah. Oh God, He's Cal so... Art's got their hands on Yoshi. <laughs> <laughs> He's got a bean nose. How do you ride? Like, you see Mario riding him, and it's like, that's not a saddle, it's a bump. How are you riding on that? Yeah. I felt like getting, being in mad pain. I don't know. Yeah. Mario's a masochist. Anyway. Yeah, and oh, oh, yeah, I was thinking of what. Though I'm not sure if I really like many of the characters in Disney's Dinosaur. Remember Aladar? And no. All of them? Yeah. I definitely don't. I like Bruce. Whoa. I like it was pretty great. Forgot about that movie. Dinosaur, yeah. yeah. When did that come out? 2000, right? Yeah, 2000. Yeah. I had one of those puppets you get from McDonald's. The rubber puppets. That I remember that shit! Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, those! Yeah! I remember those, too. Jesus Christ. Is right. your favorite dinosaur not out of, like... Wait, oh, it says no Jurassic Park, right? Yeah, no Jurassic okay. Park or Land Before Time. So I was like, ah. <laughs> all right all right um what else we got going on here evan emmanuel asks what are some of the worst jobs you've ever had all of them i've had <laughs> two well three technically actually four okay sure whatever um the worst is working at the gas station 
Oh, yeah. By far and away. Because I had to do nothing, which sounds cool, until you actually put it into practice. And doing nothing is a really, really, really easy way to go insane. To really just like... lose your mind. Yeah. I used like... to be a copier salesman. I'm sorry, you were just going? Oh, just really quickly. Yeah, like, my job is literally to sit and, like, make sure people don't do bad things, I guess. But, like, no, you didn't, you use a card at this gas station. So, like, there was never any money I had to take anything. I literally just lost people. And I wasn't allowed to use my phone or do homework or anything. So I literally just got to sit there. And at a point, I literally started twitching. I was like, this is it. This is how it feels to go insane, I guess. <laughs> it was like unbelievable, honestly. But yeah, the worst. Yeah, fuck, fuck it. That. Yeah, I mean, like, there are some folks who like that. They can just sit and chill. That's yeah. fine. But it's like, Eight hours, was five times a Oh, Did I ever tell the story about how the the job I worked at the racquetball place? At the what Can't place? I, I worked at like a racquetball company for like no. a while. Oh, yeah. racquetball is a cool sport, though. Well, like here's the thing: it was like I did data entry for them, and like the, oh. it was, this was this was a legend of a story. Okay, so this was like I hadn't worked a job in a while, and like one of my mom's friend was like, "Oh, I work for like a a placement agency, and I'll like get you a," and so. She was like, I know, like, you don't like working and shit because, like, you're a crazy millennial. So, uh, oh boy, <laughs> this is this is a job that, like, you can work from home and uh, they need help with, like, social media and stuff. And, like, since you do that, like, you seem like a good fit and they'll pay you, like, $15 an hour. And I was like, yeah, I'm about that. So, mm -hmm. I, do, I, I was like, good, I will give them my application. They're like, you're hired. We need to, like, do... Uh, like an interview and stuff because like you're one of the the main candidates I'm like okay and like we went through a bunch of like really awkward phone interviews and then like the day before like I was eventually hired but the day before I was hired they called me back they're like um by the way uh it's not a remote job you need to come into our office an hour away and you're only getting $11 uh... not 15 and I'm like uh, no. Okay, so mm -hmm. I had to get my car fixed, which cost a fuck ton of money. That was one of the main reasons I wanted to work home because I didn't have a car at the time. So I had to mm -hmm. pay all this money to get my car fixed. And then I went in there, and I'm like, all right, like I've been doing a bunch of research on like social media and like looking at what you guys are doing. And like you should probably do this, probably get a Facebook page, start running Facebook ads. So, like, uh, we don't want to do any of that. Uh, we don't care about <laughs> social media. Uh, it's stupid. We decided we don't want to do that. So you're going to do data entry. So here's a stack of shit. Uh, look through <laughs> all of this paper and put them into an excel spreadsheet i'm just uh. like <laughs> and it literally felt like like i wanted like i don't think i ever want to die more to doing that like it was the worst like i fell asleep <laughs> no. i fell asleep multiple times like it was just mm -hmm. the most boring shit and and like just go like when they said like oh can you put this racket upstairs it was like going to heaven I was like, oh my god, I don't have to sit and stare at this fucking shit. So I'm I'm there for a week and it's the worst. And like the only bathroom there is like attached to like the changing place. So every time you go to the bathroom, it's like, am I gonna see a naked old man? And like 50% of the time the answer was yes. So that was horrible. <laughs> but eventually, eventually, uh like a week passes and they send me an email, uh before I'm going into work, and they're like, uh, we decided we actually don't want anyone in this position. You're fired. <laughs> and I'm like, so because I had to fix my car, I ended up making negative $400 <laughs> at this job. Oh my God. And it wow. was the, uh... that was the worst job I ever had. <laughs> it sucks, dude. Dang, <laughs> so I don't think any of us can top that. <laughs> it was the Jeez, dumbest man. shit. <laughs> Just like <laughs> worked at a job where you made negative four. Yeah. <laughs> right. it, it took some work, but I got there. I I went to the worst think, job of all time. I think you went. Yeah. You yeah. Went. Damn. Okay. Let's see. Uh, let's see. Taxi driver asks uh, thoughts on the Dark Knight trilogy. It's just too long. <laughs> It was it's interesting. It was interesting how that series went on. It became less and less Batman, and more and more Christopher Nolan presents a superhero story. <laughs> yeah, right. Um, I think the Dark Knight is the most entertaining of the three, personally. Oh yeah, yeah it's the best one. Mm -hmm. I, I like the Dark Knight. I watched it like a few, like a month or so ago. Uh, I like it, but 
I don't know. Just it's so weird that DC technically had their hands on superhero films before Marvel, and then they they, <laughs> and they, they, they were like, "Oh yeah, I'm walking around." Go, oh mm. no, <laughs> they just tripped over themselves. Yeah. And so they made Wonder know. Woman. It's like when you like you're drowning and you get that quick breath of air and then you continue drowning. <laughs> <laughs> and they're gonna still drown when Aquaman comes out. In December. <laughs> Wait, the that's still coming out? I figured everything was cancelled after no, Justice League. No, Aquaman's still coming out in December, I think. That's the big... That's oh, gonna be I, a hope, I hope hours. it's the best like movie ever. That would be just so great. Oh, that would be fucking fantastic. I, I'm really pulling for him now, honestly. That would be I so like great. Jason Momoa and the Oscar goes so. too. <laughs> Don't give him false hope like that. It's not fair. <laughs> All right, uh, uh, Enigma Prince. Um, <laughs> Enigma Royal, Royal Prince asks, uh, "What do you think will happen to Pony? Oh, Pony. <laughs> it was spelled with an M. But uh, Pony's what, once G four is over and G five makes uh, it's an. I'm so arrival. excited Tom's for this. Got it. Tom's got I'm it. I'm so excited for this moment. It's I've gonna be it so great." It's going to be the most entertaining because here's the thing. We all are removed enough from it now that we don't give a shit. But we have enough context that when all the shit starts, when we get the <laughs> pony versions of Captain Picard versus Captain Kirk, oh, it's going to be so delicious to just drink it all up. It's going to be the best. I can't wait. It's going to be the greatest, like, three to six months of my life of just watching all this shit unfold and be like, ha, ha, ha. oh, I used to be just like you, but I dodged this bullet. And now you're all suffering. This is great. <laughs> I'm very I, excited. I, I hope it has a, a satisfying conclusion. That's all I want. Oh, yeah, you, guys still, you guys still I, watch that, don't you? It, I, I yeah, think it's okay. happening. I still like it. It's still good. It's still fun. Yeah, it's still entertaining for what it is. But is it does it even like have anything going for it that oh, yeah. even Yeah, the last yeah, season, like, like the last yeah. season and this season I mean, are pretty good. What I mean by that, I'm not saying like is it good, but I mean is there any sort of like plot things going on? Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah, 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 there's some new characters that are actually pretty dang interesting in my opinion, at least. Okay. I think they're great. Okay. Yeah, so. Well uh, they they had to introduce new characters because these old God. ones they've made like a What wouldn't it be amazing like, if like G five just like make it it's all shit again? I was wondering <laughs> Like, yeah, because like, do, do they have like a, a creative, like I guess who's in charge or something how, behind how it? How do you follow this up? Like, what are they gonna do? Like, because like this was like a lightning in the bottle thing of like they just happened to have like a creative director behind the project who was like really passionate about it and actually could make good cartoons that like had integrity but also were good for the target market. Like, they're not gonna have Lauren Faust come back. It's gonna be somebody else. Like, are they gonna like you're either gonna purposely try and make the same sort of thing again? and not have it work out correctly That's like it's gonna either happen. gonna it's gonna be really forced or you're just gonna go back to square one and just have it be really base and shit yeah I, i'm not it's quite sure like who's former. working on it at this point so oh, oh i can't wait as as oh, no matter, no matter what happens because it's either gonna be good and there's gonna be fan wars or it's gonna be shit and the backlash is gonna be amazing yeah. And then uh, then MLP is going to die for like another like five or eight uh, years. I'll yeah, have I to think. like I'll like after G four dies or well, dies finishes and G <laughs> five comes out, I have to be like, I'm not a pony person. I'm not a pony person. Leave me alone, ponies. I don't I don't associate because when five comes out, I imagine it's just gonna be if it's bad, people are going to just like go in on whoever made that show and everyone's gonna be like pony people are terrible i'm got peace i left i'm i'm over here now <laughs> I'm, I'm not part of that how okay if the if the g5 sucks how many mm. hours <laughs> before before a kickstarter's launched to do a fan-made oh my god <laughs> <laughs> like like the season nine is going to be the last one it's like you don't need to continue that it's nine seasons <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. we need ten. Pa paleo you know these people You've been in the same room as these people. <laughs> There's no off switch for them. It'll happen. I just want all I want. You have so many characters and so many of them are so strong. Just end season nine with a raid. That's all I need. Like just put Discord in there, Celestia and Luna, all the main six. Bring the kids. I don't care. <laughs> raid. Bring the kids. Bring your wife. 
<laughs> Fuck you, bring your child. <laughs> Yeah, it's gonna be great. I can't wait. It's gonna be the, the best. The Kingdom Crusaders are standing on fire. Celestia's like, get out of the fire, you freaking idiots. It's great. I can't wait. <laughs> Big Mac's <laughs> lagging as he runs into the <laughs> <laughs> You think Big Mac would tank? I think it'd be a tank. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah definitely. I mean, actually, maybe Earth Ponies would be DPS? They have so... This is You're not thinking too hard on this. At all. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, again, another, just said, uh, I don't, I'm not a part of this anymore. <laughs> Earth Pony's DPS or tank. <laughs> <laughs> you got three yeah. races and you got the Holy Trinity, so it's got to match up, right? You never, you never truly leave. That's what you're doing <laughs> right now. All right, um, yeah. I got another super chat here from uh, Ryan Walterson. Uh, uh, worst direct-to-video sequel you've ever seen uh, that isn't from Disney. Land Before Time 2 through whatever they're up to right now. <laughs> Are they 14. really that bad? They're not I don't horrible. know. I haven't, I haven't rewatched them. so I don't remember I don't remember them being bad, but I watched them as a child. So yeah. Direct to video. I've I've heard Secret of Them 2 is really bad. Oh, oh yeah. Man. Oh, Five Goes West 3 with the, with the retcon yeah, you mean You mean American Tale 3? Five Goes West is just the name of the second one. Okay! <laughs> <laughs> I, well, I want to. I want to say Lion King three, so if I can show how much hatred I have for that movie, but that's not true. That's not yeah. even close. And he said to not from Disney. Oh yeah, not from Disney. Yeah, so I, I, I can I can comprehension. I promise. Um, I, I don't watch a lot of directed DVD sequel sequels. I can't even think of any that would upset me. Yeah. Uh, all the ones I watched are Disney. Jeez. Uh, I don't. I don't know about you people out there who ask these questions, but I try not to watch shit. Watch things. <laughs> Meanwhile, you're about. Anyways. Whoa. Okay. You better, um, you better about to watch, watch some shit. <laughs> Milady's classy uh, asks, uh, which movie do you think will be better, the live-action CGI Sonic the Hedgehog movie that is made by Paramount, or the animated Super Mario Brothers movie that's going to be made by Illumination? Oh, um, Mario. Mario. Yeah. Mario. Just it's because it's fully cool. animated. The whole thing with Sonic is like, why are they doing a CGI hybrid? <laughs> I cannot wait for the Emmy. I was about to say the Emmy. The, the Oscar to go to Sonic the Hedgehog. <laughs> no. With a runner-up of Aquaman. No. It's, I honestly, I'm, I'm convinced that this is going to be a new low for modern cinema. <laughs> I can't wait to get paid by making a movie, a, a video about it. Like, <laughs> you're like, movies what the do fuck is this? I'm like, this is my generation's emoji movie. Yes. <laughs> what ruins Wasn't Sonic that just the Hedgehog? Last year? And it's going to be like, what? What were you expecting? Like, I don't even need to say anything. You already know. You already yeah, know. Right. This video is pointless. I'm just collecting AdSense right now. You all know <laughs> it. <laughs> I'm going to keep saying you already know for the next 23 minutes. Yeah. All right, uh, Santo Celine asks, uh, "Is it going to be weird when you guys start get <laughs> start getting nostalgic for the early 2010s since it's almost ending?" Don't remember. Yeah. What's, 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 what's started ago. in 2010? Ponies, Adventure Time, regular, regular show. show. Yeah, regular show yeah. started in 2010. Oh, I'm not. I'm not feeling even nostalgic like at all about any Re of those. Remember so far. Skyrim? Man, that was 2010. Oh my god, and they're still pushing that shit. <laughs> you can play it on whatever. I have play a it lamp on right here. I could probably play it on this lamp, like honestly. Um, yeah, that'll be interesting. I don't know, am I nostalgic about the 2000s yet? I'm sure I am. You're not nostalgic for PlayStation 2? Bullshit, of course you are. Yeah, 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 you're absolutely right. Okay. Um, yeah, that'll be... I don't think it'll be weird because I don't know. Time will have passed and be like that was long enough ago to where I can feel nostalgic about it. Man, what are we gonna do when we're fifty? I'm gonna feel so shit. <laughs> mm, I haven't even thought about it because I'm barely halfway there. Wait, aren't you twenty-five? I'm twenty-six. Oh yeah, you're more than halfway there then. I said I'm barely. Barely halfway. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Wouldn't that barely mean 24? Next question! <laughs> no, that means I'm almost... That would be like I'm almost halfway there. Okay, oh, okay. Is... okay yeah, yeah. All right. I just... Yeah, yeah okay. that's why they say barely legal. Okay, yeah. Why is that the way you decide? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Dude, of all things. 
<laughs> I'm trying to relate it to something, some other term I knew. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, God. All right, uh, David3x asks, um, uh, which anime series you would you like to see as a live-action movie? Also, I'm... Wait, animated or anime? Anime. Anime, okay. What I want to see as live-action, ideally none of them. Um... <laughs> I can't think of anything I like about live action more than animation. Like to me, live action is across the board a downgrade from animation. Yeah. Mm. So really Sword Art can't... Online. I want Sword Art Online because <laughs> you want it to suffer. Oh yeah. You can imagine how bad that would be. Oh my god. I mean, without as as without as popular the games, it might happen. <laughs> Let's do it. Um... That's my answer. I, uh, What's the question again? What anime do you want to be live action? Oh god. Or be a live action. Yeah, it's just I don't think live action is just by itself a downgrade from animation, but for me, pretty much in every sense, yeah, I think I'm kind of with Tom in that regard. I just, I would rather watch animation 100% of the time. Well, animation can do so much more. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I'm with Tom on this one. I default to say I don't want anything. I'd rather it be animated. Yeah. I really can't think of even one thing, yeah. Sorry. What live-action property would you want to have an anime adaptation Dude. of? Boy Meets World, that's what it totally needs, right? <laughs> <laughs> no. All no. right, another slice of life anime. Right. right. <laughs> 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 the, the manga! <laughs> You can't do that. You can't do that to me. Oh, God. <laughs> it's the bang got the big old chest just like the dragon maid. <laughs> <laughs> um, Stefani looks like Iroh. What, a... what do I want to be an anime? Um, I actually think Sabrina the Teenage Witch would be I really was just thinking of that. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, go. they've had a animated series of series animated series, series yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, and it's also coming back as a series on Netflix. So, mm -hmm. welcome to Netflix, you green light. <laughs> um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't know. I, need, I, I I'm not very good at thinking on the spot for this kind of stuff. So, mm -hmm. I have I have an answer. What you're, you're gonna you're gonna agree with me? Pacific Rim. Yeah. Yeah, baby. It'd be great. I will fucking love that. A fucking sick, like, mecha anime Pacific Rim. Like, hell yeah, dude. That's what I want. Oh, <laughs> my answer says as well. All right. Um, Ryan Walterson asks, uh, what was the first movie you ever saw in a theater? Ooh. The oh. Nutty Professor. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it was all uphill from that. <laughs> <laughs> I I don't know actually. I probably saw Jurassic Park, but I don't remember it that well. And my dad doesn't remember if he took me or not either. But the one I remember seeing uh, was The Lion King. So I remember seeing Lion King as well. I remember seeing Jurassic Park. I remember seeing um, I remember seeing Jurassic Park in uh, a drive-through. Wow, nice. I've never a been drive-through. You mean a drive-in? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we drove by the cashier and they shot. <laughs> yeah. uh, I drive by. I drive by. <laughs> drive -by. <laughs> it keeps getting worse. Circle of life, motherfucker. <laughs> went, to, went to a driveway. Went to a driveway. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah but I... a, dri a drive in. Drive -in's one. Yeah, I saw. We went to drive-ins a lot as a kid because there was one right down the street from us. So we go there more than the uh, theater. Yeah. There, there but, weren't uh, really any around here. There, there's like a couple that st that are still around, but they're they're not a great experience. They're not. A are great they not? Experience. They look like they'd be cool. They're fun, but then you realize you go when it's like the spring and the summer, and then you're outside watching a movie, and then the mosquitoes just kill you all. Like, uh, just die. This sucks. Why am I doing this? Yeah. Why mm -hmm. am I not in an air conditioned theater? <laughs> and then, like, you don't, you have to listen to the audio through, like, your your car radio or, like, a radio you bring with you. I'm like, I could be uh, in surround sound and air conditioned with, like, yeah. a big popcorn. But instead, mm -hmm. I'm out here being the popcorn for the mosquitoes, listening yeah, to fuck that. AM yeah. radio. 
drive-ins are. I guess it's just like the way they depict them in like media. They look so nice. Yeah, you know, when you get laid there, that doesn't happen. That doesn't happen. All right, I got a question on Twitter here from uh, Ivan Lerma. Um, uh, what are your thoughts on the Netflix and DreamWorks uh, new show called uh, Harvey Street Kids? Yeah, that recently came out on Netflix. I haven't looked into it though. Yeah, I have no idea what you're talking about. Saber, have you mm -hmm. seen it? Harvey Street no, Kids. No, that, that, that's new to me. Yeah, when you talk about the other cartoons, I, just, I thought Street that's what you meant. Kids but sound like a after-school PSA. <laughs> it does. <laughs> it sounds like like a trying to be hip and cool. You know, like that's what it sounds like to me, just from the oh, title. I, I got a question for you. What? Mm -hmm. go, go, go ahead. If you, if, you're, if you have something to say here, it's actually go for it. But... Uh, no, no. I was just looking at this this picture. It seems like it's just like, <laughs> and it, like it looks like this girl doesn't have a body. It looks like she's just a head because she's like hiding hiding behind a street sign. For the Harvey Street Kids, uh, oh, thing. yeah, that look that looks weird <laughs> but what are you gonna say Saber? <laughs> this is all this your girlfriend and your mom switch bodies you have to fuck one of them to change them back who do you fuck so just because <laughs> there's a low chance that our parents will watch this doesn't mean there's a zero percent chance you don't have to answer i just thought it was funny <laughs> Wow. Um, yeah, I'm not answering that. <laughs> was it was it church yesterday? Like what in the world? Uh, that was funny. Save this for like middle of the week sin or something. I'll like, save that for our after night or after dark like panel at BruniCon. Oh god. god. Alright, uh Evan Emmanuel asks, uh, what are your thoughts on Agretico? Well, um, it's fucking amazing. Yeah, it's, it's way better. Yeah, than we, it has we, any we've talked about it on the podcast before. It's it's pretty amazing. Um, let's see. Uh, <laughs> this is what I think about it. Oh like yeah, it. yeah. You got the uh the plush. Yeah. Uh, Kuro Komori um asks, uh, hey guys, I'm not sure if you talked about it yet, but what are your thoughts on the Spanish um Cartoon Network cartoon uh, Villainous? Yeah, this like has like a series I heard of shorts on YouTube. It, yeah. it, it looks I watched, really cool. I watched the shorts; they're mm -hmm. pretty cool. Yeah, I like. Yeah, I, I love the animation in this. It's really it should fantastic. be a thing. All of these characters I just attribute to other characters, though. It's kind of weird. <laughs> oh really? Yeah, like the the kid with the like uh, the plastic the paper bag on his head reminds me of number one for some reason, but also Faust from Guilty, Guilty Gear, and then that girl looks like Frankie, and so on and so forth. Yeah, so. yeah, she looks like a crazy Frankie. Mm -hmm. Um. Let's see. Deli eighteen asks, uh, "How would you rank the Jurassic movies from worst to best in general?" Okay. Um. None of them are the best because they all suck. Okay. <laughs> oh, <shit. laughs> so. Uh, Jurassic Park one. Yeah, Jurassic Park like. Duh, that's the Lost, top. Lost, Lost World. I, I do really like Lost World. Uh, it, I'd uh, probably put it above Jurassic World. Um, Jurassic World. Yeah, Jurassic World, then... And then JP, JP3. JP3. Because I haven't seen and, I haven't seen the new one. Yeah, and Fallen Kingdom. Though, the more I think about Fallen Kingdom, I might put it above JP3, just because of, like, certain themes that are in it. So, yeah. I saw, like, I, the problem right now is that, like, if I go see Jurassic the new Jurassic World, like, it's gonna be a letdown because I saw an amazing edited GIF. Like, remember that shot from the end of the, uh, the, the first Jurassic World trailer yeah. when, like, Chris Pratt's on the bike and the raptors are running with him? I love that shot. Someone edited it so, uh, it's all raptors? the raptors were on yeah, bikes, Yeah, raptors too. on bikes. Yeah. <laughs> it was the coolest shit. I'm like, this, this is never gonna happen, and it should because, like, we should just... If you're just gonna double go down! Man, just, just, just go for it. Like if there's okay, fire dinosaurs and fast cars. <laughs> they're smart enough to open doors. They're smart enough to rev engines up. That's why they need That's to fine. do a Jurassic World and Fast and Furious crossover. Come on, do it. They, sh they should. <laughs> <laughs> just go all out. <laughs> I forgot to. I wanted to see that movie that like that the uh, the heist movie with the storm. Hurricane heist. Yeah, that was by the the Fast and Furious guy. Oh wow. I wanted to see it because it just like that just seems ridiculous, but 
the good kind of ridiculous that I want to check out, and I never did. Yeah. <laughs> uh, tax- I never go to the movies. <laughs> Taxi Driver asks, uh, what are your thoughts on the Godfather trilogy? Um, I've only seen the first two. Long. <laughs> <laughs> I've never seen them. Yeah, hey, I've, I've, I've only seen the first two. I haven't seen part three. Uh, I hear part <laughs> part three's like not that great, good, apparently. Not that great, but um, it came out in 1990, so I don't know. Maybe it's aged better with time. Um, mm. but yeah, the Godfather Father uh, movies are, are like really well made movies. They're long though, very long. <laughs> so. Um, got another super chat from Ryan Walterson here, who always does a bunch of super chats, so thank you, Ryan. Um, aside from Jurassic Park, what is your favorite Spielberg movie? Hmm. Ooh. Uh, between Memoirs of a and Saving Private Ryan, I cannot decide. Uh, and Shen probably Shen leaning Shen a Parker. little bit to Saving Private Ryan. That Actually, you know what? So dang good. I'm gonna have to Sit, look it up. Ryan. Yeah, um... Yeah. Uh, oh wait besides Jurassic Park oh Jaws there you go <laughs> <laughs> wow yeah I also do really like uh, Close Encounters of the Third Kind I have never even heard of that what is that yeah Close About Encounters of the... oh I haven't seen that many alien movies Close Encounters yeah it came out in 77 oh, third kind. oh that's extra why I haven't seen it okay <laughs> but yeah Jaws, Jaws is a really good movie Mm. What about you, Saber? Is it Mickey said he'd BRB? Oh. Mm. Uh, list, I don't know. Uh... Spielberg has directed a lot of movies. <laughs> oh, The Terminal. I'm like, he didn't do The Terminator. <laughs> <laughs> no, that was James Cameron. The Terminal. That's bullshit. <laughs> um, you know, I'm gonna go with Raiders of the Lost. I really like that. Yeah, that mm-hmm. is really great. I just remembered uh, something funny. So um, I saw a funny post this morning on Reddit because a screen cap of somebody making a tweet about how it's like uh coworker, hey, man, um, uh, bet me three bucks and I can like sink this shot into a trash can across the room. Okay, here you go, three bucks. Uh, Wikipedia. Uh, if you give us $3, we can continue supplying information for the world. Get fucked. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck off, Wikipedia. Leave me alone. Hey, um, <laughs> Saber. So th- this question, uh, when you were back, um, uh, the question was, uh, uh, aside from Jurassic Park, what is your favorite Spielberg movie? Because uh, hmm. I said Jaws. Uh, here's also you said Saving Private Ryan, right? Yeah, probably Saving Private Ryan. Yeah. And Tom said Raiders of the Lost Ark. Probably BFG. Really? No. Um, probably, uh, <laughs> I was like, really? That one? Schindler's, Schindler's List is really fucking great. Yeah. It, it's, it's so crazy Ooh, that... that uh, that's a good one to get... Well, he did fucking Jurassic Park and Schindler's List the In fucking the same, same year. year. Yeah. Like, what the hell, dude? Like, how can you make, like... Here, here's one for the box office. Here's one for the Oscars. Yeah. <laughs> Come in here. <laughs> Yeah, he's he's nuts. Spielberg, I mean, like I I gotta give him credit. He's he's really good at making shit. Yeah. He's also got a good director from Spielberg. That just works. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Um uh Enigma Prince asks, uh what cartoon news do you expect to hear from San Diego Comic Con this year and would you what and what would make you lose your shit from it? I never really know what to expect from there, honestly. If I my life as like a teenage this. robot is coming back. That would make me lose my shit. If they finally said something about the Pacific Rim animation series, mm-hmm. I'd lose my shit for that. That'd be cool. What about you, Saber? Uh, uh, Pacific Rim. I agree with Tom. <laughs> I agree with Tom. It's not <laughs> animated, but I would also be happy if there was more information on the uh, new spot. Oh, new yeah. Spot? Yeah, they're making a new Spawn movie, apparently. Yeah. Oh, okay. Now that CGI is finally good enough to actually make one, they're like, maybe we should actually try and do that again, Dado. So. <laughs> Have you watched that movie recently? It's hilarious. They have the scene at the end where he's in hell, and like all the like the, the 
demons around him are just like literally PS1 sprites. They're like three frames. Hilarious. <laughs> Hilarious. Love it. Mm-hmm. 10 out of 10. <laughs> Uh, David, Davy, Dave, uh, what are y'all's thoughts on The Last of Us 2? Well, it's not out yet, so... Oh, uh, that game cool. looks ridiculously pretty. I, yeah. I am almost positive that what they've shown so far is not actual gameplay. Yeah, it looks... That, that is way too smooth. The transitions between the animations, there's there's no way. Yeah, if it, if it, it is, is like that, I'd be super impressed. Yeah. And they have to buy it. Because I have a PS4 Pro now, Ooh. You fucking rich asshole. <laughs> hey, you got a fifty dollars off. <laughs> I did get fifty dollars off. That's why I got it. I That's like, how cool, rich man. people stay rich. <laughs> <laughs> Disgusting. <laughs> um, let's see, uh Pran Chan asks, uh, how's your thumbnails looking since YouTube is running that experiment? Um, I'm, so I'm far, okay. of, yeah, I'm okay too. I'm not part of that point zero three percent or whatever. Point zero three, oh okay. Yeah, but YouTube was doing this thing where they're like, you know, we're doing an experiment where 0.03% of users are going to have their thumbnails randomly generated now. So that, those custom thumbnails you made don't matter. See, mm-hmm. I don't really... Like, what they should have done is why did they just run that information just using everybody who's already using thumbnails? Yeah. Like... Stupid. <laughs> And again, it's YouTube, so of course it's stupid. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. So, Mirth Mauser, Mirth Mauser asks, uh, do you think Jurassic Park would make a good survival-slash-horror anime? Uh, anime can more be, uh, easily get away with blood and violent deaths than movies can in the West. Um, oh, yes! Yes, they can! <laughs> yeah. So, the thing is, like, if there was some kind of series on Netflix, like the Castlevania series on Netflix, which is uh, amazing... Then yeah, I think it would work. That that would be very interesting. <laughs> it basically would be like what Dino Crisis that that series. The Lucky Star Girls, but in Jurassic Park. <laughs> it's, you know, High School of the Dead. This is Theme Park of the Dead. Oh, would it be High School Students? Theme Park. Of course. Of course. <laughs> of course. No, High School Students based on the dinosaurs. Like blue, the that? blue from Jurassic World would be. One I can of get, girls. I can get behind yeah, that. Yeah, Rexy, yeah. the, the T Rex would be it. Um, <laughs> would be like the ruined, like ruined. the queen of the high school. Ruined. <laughs> <laughs> no, ruined. This, is, this is enhancement. Yeah. No. Yeah, we already <laughs> got a horse girl <laughs> anime. <laughs> Let's Which have, a, di- have a dinosaur trash. girl it's anime. Mega trash. Like, oh my gosh, I want to die. Didn't, I didn't need to watch it to know that. <laughs> <laughs> I, I want mean, we this, have a boat I want this dinosaur anime. girl <laughs> anime now. <laughs> oh god. Just turn <laughs> things into anime girls. That's like the dream question mark? I don't know. It's like a whole industry <laughs> based around that, my dude. I'm sure someone's already done it. What else can you turn into anime girls? <laughs> Everything. <laughs> Food, fighting games, internet browsers, you name it. <laughs> Literally anything. Uh, Ozzy all asks, um, are you excited for the, uh, Steven Universe episodes with the amount of Steven bombs? <laughs> I'm excited, you know, wait and see what happens. I am caught up, so I'm at this point, I feel like I'm excited. I have to catch up still. <laughs> One of these fucking episodes is about Ronaldo. I swear to <laughs> fucking God! Would you rather it be about Ronaldo or Mayor Dewey? Mayor Dewey. Mayor I, Dewey. I see a Mayor Dewey episode. I'm Here's the thing. I, might like legit I don't know if you guys saw this, but there was a tweet. There was a tweet from Rebecca Sugar earlier today. Being like, these episodes have been yeah, in production for years. That. I'm so excited to finally share them for you. I can't wait to slap that next to the dumbest screenshot of Mayor Dewey from like episode three in this bomb and be like, bitch! <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, I still have to. I, I know all the things because everyone already said all the things. I went to MomoCon and people just said the things. I was like, all right, cool, whatever. I already oh, knew anyway. Oh, yeah. It was uh, your own fault. No, I mean, like, I went into the panel. I was like, I'll probably get spoiled in here, but I was like, but I need something. I, I needed to ask Laura something. I can't remember what it was. But yeah. Uh, ben Demand Dude asks, uh, What are your thoughts on Sony blocking Bethesda for crossplay? Uh, Sony is dumb. Yeah, it's so weird. Sony's been very, very 
strict about well, like they're, you they're only play on our consoles and nothing else. Right now. They did the same thing with Fortnite and all that shit. Yeah. So. And they had it Fuck to where you. Yeah, they had it to where like if you even like logged on your Fortnite account on a Sony console when you didn't like create it on a Sony console, then you're stuck on Sony. Like you can't yep. log into any other system at that point. So yeah. When you when you said crossplay, I thought you meant like like, like <laughs> yeah, like, you know, like the cosplaying cosplay, cosplay. but I was like, yeah. why is Sony <laughs> on that? <laughs> like at all? I'm an idiot. Okay, gotcha. <laughs> yeah. Uh, David Three X asks, um, uh, thoughts on Cartoon Network in Africa making some cartoons? Yeah, and South South Africa, Whoa. I think, or something. Or is it in Egypt? What? The state of Africa. It's finally getting behind this. <laughs> yeah, but they, they have a um, that's cool. They have a division over there. Um, so it'll be interesting to see what uh what they pump out. Yeah, when it, when different like every country that makes animation, they're all just different. It's so cool to me. Yeah. So I want to see what Africa is like. Why not? Because Africa. Yeah, country every country America makes aesthetic. different kinds yeah. of animation, and America right now making the worst <laughs> ones. Can we please fix this art? Dude, France. France is just killing us. What is happening? Like, I don't get it. <laughs> um, uh, Evan Emmanuel uh, asks, "What games are you planning planning to buy for the Steam sale?" Uh, at this point, maybe nothing. I don't want to buy anything right now. I'm I'm content playing Splatoon too. I got that like two days ago, and yeah, I, I have I have six Kingdom Hearts games to play. Tales of Berseria. I just bought Luminous. I have to finish Persona Five. Like, cool. Well, here. Speaking of Luminous, did you see that new Tetris by the guy? Yeah. Who oh, wait. Tetris no, back to... Okay. 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 I, let me like slide back in really quickly. Um, <laughs> did you see that trailer? Dude, did you see? All right, some guy did a uh, a, a video where he got like the world's best NES Tetris player. Yeah, to play. I saw that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. my god, dude! I'm he so just, he just got lost in it. It was cool. And like Wait. he got like the like do, do, dodeca of dodeca, Tris or whatever the fuck. Yeah, do, dodeca hectress or some shit. Dodeca hectress. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, Sixteen lines. Yeah, but did you see the trailer? Yeah, it was fucking. The dope. trailer's ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, and like why is that song so, so good? Good. The song's made specifically for the Tetris game, so I was like, well, "This was made for Tetris." <laughs> the song sounds so nice, dude. Well, I mean, I, it's like, like the, the luminous essence, like put into Tetris, and I'm just right. like, "Yes," because I love it's, Luminous. It's been my favorite for so long. Right, Luminous is an outstanding game that I can play forever. But um, somebody in a YouTube comment, I love this comment, but like on the Tetris effect uh, video. He said, did I just witness the creation of the universe? I was like, yeah, really? That's what the trailer <laughs> kind of seems like legit. It's so bizarre. It's so beautiful. A whole I don't know. universe of Tetris, my man. Like, is this like a fireball and an ice wall colliding? I'm like, what's going on? But it's art. <laughs> like, yeah, I'm, I'm excited for it. Yeah. Like, I haven't right. been this excited for a Tetris game in a while since like ever it's, it's a song man <laughs> maybe tetris ds tetris ds was like a really good tetris game that's another thing that was on that video another youtube comment there was a person that said wow this is the best tetris music since tetris cdi i was like haha good joke what did tetris cdi sound like probably garbage i listened to it i was like this is actually really nice <laughs> what the <laughs> that is really nice music <laughs> no no yeah all right, so I'm going to uh, end on this uh, this question uh, since we can go and do the, the Let's Watch with Saber. Um, so Deli18 asks, uh, with 4th of July this uh, Wednesday, what are your plans to do on that day? I'm going to hang out with my dad and chill, and that's it. It's going to be a fat, lazy piece of garbage. <laughs> <laughs> so it's like every other day, really. <laughs> Yeah. I'm going to sleep in, log into my computer, and be on it until it's time to go to work the next day, probably. Like, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I'll be visiting uh, Saber, and... She will! We're going to, what, a lake? Yep. Yeah. 
So not not on the fourth of July, but um, the fourth of July July weekend we'll be going there from Friday to Saturday. Oh okay. Oh I I I thought you meant like we're going on fourth of July. That's what I thought too. I, yeah. I got clarification like yesterday. Okay. Yeah. All right. So yeah. Anyway. And now I know, and that's my super short show. <laughs> hey hey hey! Jesus Christ, dude! Woo. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> oh my god. You got like super short like oh my look. My. The 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 girl on that show, what was her name? Allison Stoner. Um, Allison that's sniff. Yeah, Allison Stoner. Uh she's a really good dancer. She's in a lot of Misty Elliott videos and is really good at dancing. That's my random I don't know. I, I like her, she's cool. That's what I remember. I don't know what Mike's Mike, doing. Mike, oh. the original YouTube vlogger. Yeah. <laughs> what is Mike doing? I know what Allison Stone is doing. What in the world Shit. is Mike doing? We got to look it up, dude. Remember, Do Mike, we... the Mike Super Short Show. This is him now. <laughs> Mike Feeling the Mike old Super yet. Short Wait, so if you know Mike from Mike Super Short Show, how do you not know that Disney Channel original movies are called DCOMs? Do at the same time. I didn't watch I Disney know. stuff. Or Disney Channel, so I, I don't know anything. I, I never heard DCOM ever. <laughs> no, I don't. I still don't believe this is like a Berenstain <laughs> Berenstein thing. I feel like we slipped some timelines here. DCOM did not exist in my reality <laughs> before the merger. All right, this didn't happen. <laughs> da, 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 da. <laughs> all right. Well, that's the end of the show. Remember that um, it's uh, the the podcast is still streamed here, but it's going to be uploaded to its own channel. So the the next time, it's uh it's going to be on that POS podcast channel, which is linked in the description <laughs> of the the live stream. So you can go uh, subscribe to it there, and you'll see it when it uh, uploads. But yeah, everything's oh still God. streamed here if you watch it live. But anyway, really, I guess we'll... really quickly, yeah? really quickly, I just looked at the chat and I saw Toon J. Say let's watch a Disney Channel movie, and that that wasn't nostalgia I needed at all. But I, you bet your butt, I remember that stupid thing, that stupid jingle. Let's watch a Disney Channel movie. Oh my god! <laughs> let's watch a Disney Channel movie. <laughs> <laughs> that was like that's when memory. synapses fired for the first time. <laughs> <laughs> Like, oh, oh I ha that would have forever been forgotten had you not said it legit. Like, wow. Yeah. yeah. God, I wonder what important thing I just forgot to make room for. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. All right, All right so. Wonderful. Are we done? Yeah, we're done. <laughs> we'll we'll see spent. you guys next time on uh, July 16th. So. 2009. Two, 2009. 2018. <laughs> so. See you guys. Bye, later. everybody. Goodbye.